Hello guys, so today I am so excited to be back on my channel to show you the following. Oh my God, I'm so excited. And it's not even October 3rd. Plus it's not even a Wednesday. <laughs> I should have uploaded this on Wednesday. Today I am doing a playtime video on the new Storybook Cosmetics Burn Book by the Mean Girls movie and First of all, a round of applause to Storybook Cosmetics for actually doing this, for actually pulling through and doing this and getting all the rights and just creating pure and utter magic for us stands out here. I've always been obsessed with Mean Girls. Like the first time I saw it, I was like, "What? where's this movie going? What is gonna happen? But at the end of it, I was so obsessed. I think I've watched it like 12 times by now. And just again, Storybook, you did the damn thing. You pulled through, you came through you are here for the stands and I'm so excited. So this right here is the Storybook Cosmetics Burn Book Mean Girls Eyeshadow Palette and it comes with 12 very colorful and fun eyeshadows and the names, can we talk about that in just a few? Is Butter a Carb? Glen Coco, you go Glen Coco. Of course, so fetch. She doesn't even go here. The Plastics, Regina George, Mouse, duh. This palette is speaking to me on so many levels. Like this palette reaches levels on the inside of my body and it tingles. <laughs> so yeah, in today's video, I'm just gonna be playing with the burn book. I'm, I'm so excited. I'm gonna be playing with Wednesday, just, Mm, I have a look in mind, but knowing me with all these playtime videos, it turns out way different. So sit back, relax, and let's play with makeup. Let's see how the shadows look on the eye. Do they have any fallout? How's the pigmentation? Let's find out more about these shadows in a nice little playtime video. I'm ready. I'm so ready. The first color I'm gonna go in with is Wednesday. And Wednesday is going into the crease and onto the outer third of the lid. And this color is so pigmented and so intense. You wanna go little by little because you pick up a little bit and you're on. Now with a clean brush, I'm slightly buffing out the edges. And now we're gonna move into So Fetch. And this is gonna go right above Wednesday into the crease. So right above it, like a little sunrise happening over here or sunset. It looks more like a sunset, honestly. And then back in with a clean blending brush to again, buff out the edges. Once you're happy with your blend and your shape, it's now time to cut the crease or cut the lid. And for this, I'm going in with my trusty MAC Select Cover Up Concealer. And as I'm cutting the crease, I just wanna mention how impressed I am by the pigmentation on these shadows. They have so much color payoff. They blend so easily and so quickly. So far, I'm a huge, huge fan. Now going in with the white shadow of the palette, the plastics on the inner third of the lid. And I'm liking this white. Is it the most pigmented white I've ever tried? No, because Taco by Sugar Pill is more intense and has more color payoff, but still it's a pretty white. Now going back in with the orange, so fetch going on the center of where the white and the pink meet. Now, if you're thinking, Nikki, that blend is looking a little bit rough, my number one trick to make anything look blended and nice is to put a shimmer over top of where the colors meet. So I'm going in with Regina George, and this is going over So Fetch to make it blended, baby. So that is it for the top lid. This, oh my God, this makes me so happy. It looks so hard to do, but it's not. All right, lower lash line time, and I'm gonna make it smoky and deep. So I'm gonna go in with, she doesn't even go here. And this honestly might be one of my favorite shades of the entire palette because it's so rich and warm, but deep. This for fall is everything. 
applying some black liner to my waterline to make it even more smoky. And this is the Jouer Slim Cream Liner in Matte Black. I'm buffing out the outer edge using So Fetch again. Okay, time to finish. I'm gonna go in with these Velour Lashes in Imagine. And these come with a glittery black band. So it looks like you're wearing black glitter liner, but you're not, because it's on your lashes. So that's a nice little touch for with this look. So Imagine is going on the eyeball. All right, so eyes are done. Let's finish this look. I'm gonna bronze because I'm looking like a ghost and if you're a ghost, you can't be part of the plastics. <laughs> A true plastic is also carved into perfection. So I'm contouring. For blushing, going in with this pretty one by Ofra. This is called Mai Tai, one of my all time favorites. And something I've been doing is carving up my cheeks as well. It's gonna make you look extra, extra plastic, <laughs> which is my philosophy in life. Look extra plastic. <laughs> now that you're Santa, it's time to glow, and I'm gonna be mixing a couple of products today. I'm gonna go for the, I watched Desi's Ultimate Glow video, and I, I just learned so much from that that I just wanna play with glow today. So I'm gonna go in with this one right here. This is Benefit's Dandelion Twinkle. I love this as a strober. And of course, this is well loved. My glazed donut highlight in collaboration with Ofra. It is still available. So I'm gonna mix those two for on the cheekbones. Now for some extra glow, this Pop Lux um, highlighter in the color Double Life. And this is more of like a blush color. And Desi's trick was to give it a smile and really put it on the apples of the cheeks like uh, Chrissy Teigen. So I'm doing it. Mm. Oh, oh. I look like plastic and I love it. Okay, let's do some more strobing using the dandelion twinkle. Mmm, hello. Woohoo! This is a good day. Mm mm. I fit right in with the plastics. Literally, I am made of play doh. <laughs> For lips, I'm gonna go in with this Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in the color Trouble. Some setting spray to set it all and we're done. And that, guys, concludes my playtime video using the Storybook Cosmetics Burn Book Mean Girls eyeshadow palette. If you ask me, I think this is a must-have. The shadows are incredibly pigmented. They apply like a dream. They are so full, full, full of color. They blend easily. I didn't notice any extreme fallout on my skin. I did notice some buildup in the pan, so when you dip your brush in, um, ABH subculture palette, a little bit of that, but way less. Definitely with Wednesday, with So Fetch a tiny bit less and all the others I did not experience that with. 
So if you are afraid of build up in the pan or you're so against it, usually it happens because shadows are so pigmented and they have so much pigment in them, which makes them a little bit more powdery. So it's kind of something you wanna have to live with. If you want a super pigmented shadow that blends like a dream, you're gonna have a little bit of buildup in the palette itself. It's nothing like ABH subculture. It is nothing extreme, but it did happen with Wednesday a little bit more than with the others. The palette retails for $55, and for $55, you get a burn book that has amazing packaging and 12 really high quality shadows. And if you ask me, it's so worth it. It is a little bit of an investment, but it, again, I think it's so worth it. If you love me, girls, you need this in your life. If you love the colors that are in this palette, you need this in your life. If these colors are nothing that satisfy your needs, then skip. It's all personal preference with all palettes out there. My personal preference says yes, yes, yes. But at the end of the day, you decide if you think it's worth the money. So uh, let me know in the comments down below what you think of this palette. Do you want it? Are you gonna buy it? Are you, are you passing on it? Let me know your raw and honest thoughts down below in the comments. As always, if you enjoyed watching this video, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit the notification notification bell to get a notification every time I upload. I want to thank you so much for watching again. I had so much fun with this one and I feel like, oh, that green, that, bl that blue needs a look. So I might come back with the second look on this palette soon. Let me know if you want that in the comments down below or give this video a thumbs up. And yeah, I want to try you go Glen Coco. <laughs> Hopefully I will see you guys on the next one.